Uh, before I bring Lee on, I don't know if my buddy Tyler's on here or not, but if he is, unmute yourself. Like, so Tyler lives down here real close to me, and he it was in a really tight situation. So I don't know if you can, if you're on here or not. Oh, yeah, my microphone. Well, I'm here, man. All right, cool. I can hear you. I can hear you good. So um, Tyler is working really hard. hard. Um, I'm not going to try to even share your story. I'll let you do it. But um, I met him through a buddy named Ian, and we connected really well. We both have the same ideas. We want to actually have a shop together down here to work at like a place to have an office. Just want to help people at the same time. You know, we want to work together. So Tyler, if you can maybe share your story since before or even after and where you're at right now with how this has maybe changed where you're where you're at. What's up? Everybody can hear me okay? Yep. You can hear me okay, Brian? Yep, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, man. I, how how long do I got? Because I, I I could go all in or I can give you the short version of a long story. Well, just give I'll us try to keep give this, us a couple minutes give this, of it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. So I'm I'm a I'm a soon to be 40 year old father of two. Uh, I left Canada in 2021 to move to the Dominican Republic. I want a simpler life. I sold everything. I sold my business. I was in construction for 20 years. Um, you know, I sold everything. Sold my business. Sold my house. Sold my truck. My car. My bike. My trailer. My mobile home. All that stuff. We were living a pretty decent life in in Canada, but as we all know, the world has gone a little crazy these last few years. So. You know, I came to the Dominican Republic for a simpler life, and uh, I got myself involved in, in, you know, a sideways real estate deal. You know, I came down here with, you know, a decent amount of capital. The real estate market went crazy in 2020, 2021, and I capitalized. I sold my house for three times what I spent to buy it. So I, I made really well on my house. And, you know, I came here and, you know, I had the idea that I'd be able to buy a villa and, and you know, live a real simple life. And, you know, I found out real quick that, you know, it's it's not exactly, you know, the cheapest to live here, you know, especially when you're trying to, you know, get the same familiarities and, and uh, conveniences of, of Canada, North America. Um, so, you know, we, we ended up spending a lot. You know, you find out, you know, recognizable labels. You can read Doritos, Tostitos, you know, you read stuff <laughs> that makes sense to you. It's It's got an import tax attached to it. So. I've I've been here I've been here for 22 months now, and coasting pretty well on the on the capital that I came with. But uh, there's not much for work here unless you're an entrepreneur and you can open a business or you provide a service. You know the minimum wage in this country is twenty dollars a day, and and it's really hard you know to to find work. So I had the the idea that my money was going to work for me. So I decided to invest in real estate, and the real estate in this country is unregulated. Uh, there's really no rules. It's the Wild West when it comes to that. So I found myself in a in a sideways deal. And, uh, you know, fast forward to maybe, well, I, I think it's 21 days ago. Okay, 21 days ago, I had pretty much depleted my capital. And I, I didn't really know what I was going to do. You know, I was I was, you know, pretty much facing, you know, my only option was to go back and 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 work and get back into my construction. And, which was a difficult idea because I had sold my tools, I sold my truck, I sold everything. And, uh, you know, I, I, I had known Brian and, I, and I've known him, you know, for quite some time here indirectly, you know, we, you know, every, you see everybody here, it's a one street town. And uh, we went out, you know, every night there's a place here, they got, uh, you know, they got happy hour mojitos and, you know, we were out having, having a drink and, and, uh, you know, Brian was just, you know, he, he was super excited and, and he was really happy and I could just feel his vibe. And, you know, he had expressed that, you know, he had had a really successful week. And I just assumed that he had maybe made a real estate deal because, um, you know, he had he had expressed that he made, uh, you know, a, 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 a quite a bit of money in a short amount of time. And I said, you know, I just assumed it was real estate, but, you know, later found out it wasn't. He was doing this crypto AI trading. And I just kind of wrote it off because um, I'm a cash is king type of guy, you know, being, being in construction. You know, I remember in 2012, my friend, you know, he, he asked me if I wanted to buy Bitcoin with him. And I told him he was crazy. So, you know, I, I never really believed in the digital world at all because I thought in a minute if they just 
if they were to shut down all communications networks and internet, like, what are you going to do then? And I really didn't have an understanding of it all. I was quite ignorant to it. And, you know, I, I had met him and he shared a bit of his success. And I was like, you know, good for you, dude. That's just, you know, that sounds good for you. But for me, I'm the type of dude that, you know, I, I just don't have that kind of luck. And, uh, you know, I kind of brushed him off the first time that I had heard about it. And the second time he's like, yeah, man, I just paid off my condo and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, come on, this is crazy. And uh, we had a mutual friend that was a part of these conversations. And I've known Ian for 10 years now. Uh, you know, I, I believe that we're somehow related. We, we share the last name and there's not many of us. We're kind of like Scottish Vikings. But, uh, you know, he had, you know, a couple of weeks had gone by and, and Ian, you know, he reached out to me and he said, Tyler, man, you really got to look at what Brian's doing, man. He goes, I made five grand this week. And I said, come on, dude, this can't be serious. Right. I'm like, doing what, though? Like, what is it? And uh, he just kind of gave me the lowdown. I'm a pretty simple guy. You invest your money, you earn 2% a day and, uh, you know, pull your profits and then compound the, the rest when you get house money and, and yada, yada, yada. And at that point, I still wasn't really giving it too much of, uh, of my time because, you know, I'm there is, the a, there is some trading involved as well, though. There is some trading. Yeah, no, trading. absolutely. But see, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't have, I don't have the, I don't have my mind when I look at a chart you know, a trading chart, I, I, my mind just shuts down. I, I just, I don't have, I don't have the desire. I get it. I get it. That's why I'm it's not trading. Really the, you know, something like that. Yeah, no, so exactly. I just figured, you know, I'm like, you know what, that's not for me, but you know, I said, it's not for me. It's good for you. But because I had, I had heard Brian's success. I had heard about Ian's success. He said, you know what? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I've been looking for, the break I've been praying for. Because to be honest with you guys in here, I, I was days away from having to go back to Canada and just put my pouch on and get back to work so I could sustain the lifestyle that I had here in the Dominican Republic. And uh, you know what? I didn't really want to risk too much because they say, don't ever, don't ever, you know, don't ever invest more than you're willing to lose. But at that time, I wasn't really willing to lose anything. But I saw, you know what? What's the minimum I have to get for 2%? So I went in at the 3K package and actually before I even got my $3,000 in, I had a friend of mine who's in a, you know, he's been in the space for a while. He said, you know what? I'm going to throw 500 bucks at it. So I made $30 commission before I had even joined. And I was like, okay, there's something to this. So I put $3,000 in and you know what I did? I just, I, I wanted to wait and see what happened. And I started to see $60 a day go into my account. And, you know, I had a lot of people, I was the biggest skeptic, you know, I, I, I never believed in this world. And I had people tell me, oh, yeah, that's, you know, sounds all good, but let me know when you can pull your profits. And I said, okay, cool, that's cool, just sit back, watch. And after a few days, I did, I made a withdrawal. And uh, here in the Dominican Republic, we're fortunate enough to have Bitcoin stores in every major city in the island. And it's, it's, it's not taxed, it's, it's a different world here. So I make a withdrawal, and it lands in my trust wallet. And I'm like, okay, this, this is cool. And there's a place here, there's a Bitcoin store. You can go in, you sell your Bitcoin, they'll pay you cash. So I go in there and I make my money. And now I'm like, now I have the cash in my hand. And I'm like, okay, there's something to this. So I reached out to everybody that told me that, oh yeah, call me when you can pull your profits. I said, look, I pulled my profits. And then people just started going, you know what? I'm gonna take a risk, I'm gonna take a risk. I never really cold called anybody. I just, I, I share my, I share my success on, on social media and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm only 21 days in on the 35 day, $3,000 package at 2% for 25 business days. I've referred 34 personal uh, first level referrals and I've brought in about 180,000 on my first level. And because of the bonus structure and the commissions in 21 days, I've made over a hundred thousand dollars and it's absolutely changed my life. Um, my marriage was taking a hit. My relationship with my kids was taking a hit because I was stressed as a man, all the men in here, I'm sure you can relate. We are the protectors and the providers. And if we have trouble, if we have trouble doing that, you know, we really beat ourselves up. So I was really struggling by not being able to give my kids exactly what I wanted to give them. And when I started to see the commissions roll in and I was able to cash out, it really lit a fire up under me where I just thought, how many people can I help in similar situations? Help them buy a, a, a maybe a new set of winter tires, 
help their kid go through college, catch up on some credit card payments. I just thought, you know what? People need to know about this. I would feel that I was doing a disservice to my network, my friends, my family, if I didn't share this opportunity. So that's what I did. And sharing that, and in a very short amount of time, now my second level, my all level referrals in 21 days, I'm almost at $400,000. And like Brian shared with you, me and him, we, 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 we kicked it off really quick. Me and him, we, we have a lot in common. We have the same vision. We have the same goals. We want to create a better life for our children. And that's what our mission is as parents is to, you know, make sure our kids have an easier, you know, uh, an easier go at life than we do. And sharing that with people, you know, I'm the type of guy, like, I'm not going to tell you how a Wendy's burger tastes unless I had it. So I needed the experience myself. And once I started seeing that experience, I just, I could not share it. And now I'm sharing, like, I, you know, it, to, to put this into perspective, the power of networking and teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. I've been blessed to have a fantastic team come together. And this whole last week, I've been working on getting our, getting our office together. Brian and I, we need a place. We're working from home, but women and children can get loud sometimes. We need a space where we can get away and have peace and, and really get to the grind and work this, this system. So we've got an office space. You know, I've had, I've, I've been really busy. I haven't had time to really respond to emails or direct inboxes. I've been painting the walls and staining the floors and furnishing our <laughs> office. Well, my second level made me $5,000 this week. And I didn't do anything. I did two weeks ago, but what the work I did in the past is paying me in the present and it's given me a future. So this opportunity, I just want to say, Brian, thank you for sharing, you know, at that night and, and sharing so openly the success that you had, because had I not seen it for myself, I'd still be the guy saying all oh, that crypto world. Yeah. Let me know what happens when the power goes out. You know, I was an idiot and I, and I never gave it the time of day. I never paid attention to it. And you know what, when I, when I was hearing this and I heard it from my friend Ian, I had flashbacks when I said no to Bitcoin because I could have got Bitcoin at $200 and we all know it went to about $5,500. And I just didn't want to miss out. I had FOMO. FOMO stands for fear of missing out. I didn't want to miss this boat. So I took a risk. I said to my wife, I said, look, we don't have much, but I don't want to miss this boat. And I think that if I do this and it works for them, it can work for me. And since then, my, my, my referrals now, we have over 94 referrals in my team. We've brought in $400,000. People are learning how to get money from their bank decentralized into a platform like Netcoin, Newton, ShakePay, Coinbase. People are, they're, they're catching on. They, you know, the banks have too much control over our money. And Absolutely. Doing, doing this, we're decentralizing our money and we're putting it into a platform. How I explain to people, my gift is simplifying the complex. So everybody has a bank account and you put your money in the bank and they they sell mortgages, credit cards, car loans, lines of credit, and you have to pay the bank to hold your money. This platform is similar to a bank and they reward you for letting them hold your money. So I put my money into this and they're saying, look, we're gonna go and trade this. They could make a bazillion dollars they're going to pay me 2% a day and I'm okay with that. And now they've got these promos. You're making 3% a day. Guys, if you're in here and you're on the fence, take a risk without risk. There can be no role, no reward. And this company, I really believe the culture of this company has people's best interest in mind. We are people helping people. People need people. And without people that listen, anybody that tells you they're self-made is lying to you. There is not a man on this earth that is self-made. He either had a family or somebody help him one way or another. And I'm so thankful for you, Brian. I'm thankful for Ian. I don't know if you're here. I'm thankful for you, Lee. I'm thankful for this opportunity because, and I'm sorry, I might get emotional. As a father, as a protector and a provider, I was losing it. And I, and I, was, and, and, and I, I thought that I was going to have to tuck my tail and give up on my dream and go working back into the nine to five and trade my time for money. And this opportunity has changed my life 180 degrees. I've paid my kids tuition in full. I've been able to, I've been able to do things that I never was able to do 
because I've depleted the capital that I made by selling my home. That money wasn't going to last forever. And I always wondered, how can I invest? How can I make my money work for me? And if it wasn't for invisible AI, I, I, I don't know where I'd be right now. This opportunity has li literally changed my life where I now have time freedom. You know, I'm busy. I'm on the phone because I want to help everybody. But I, I, Right now, my account is staked out. I, I'm on pace to make $15,000 a month. And that's just on my own money. You Amazing. Know? So if there's people in this group and you're wondering, oh, man, you know, that's too good to be true. <laughs> it is until it isn't. And I'm telling you right now, I'm blessed. And I owe it to Lee Dalton, the whole developing team that put this software together. AI is nothing to be afraid of. You can have it work for you and we can use it to our advantage. If I had to trade on my own, I wouldn't have done this. When I read charts, I get a headache. I, and this is a fully automated system. All you're required to do is have a little bit of trust, have a little bit of faith, play the system while the system's in play. And I'm telling you folks, if you just stick with the program, it'll change your life. It'll, it'll absolutely change your life. I was, I was literally days away from packing up and going back to Canada, putting a pouch on and trade my time for money and invisible AI saved my life. Thank you so much for sharing that. And it's been a long time coming. I'm glad for you to share. And I mean, I got emotional during it because I was in a bad spot too. I remember that night I came up there on Monday, they call it crypto Mondays. And I'm like, I can only be here for a minute. Cause I have to go home and do this zoom with you guys, you know, that's on here and inviting people on here too. So I'm, I'm thankful you joined and I'm glad we got connected Tyler. And that's a phenomenal story for it's very powerful. And yeah, thank you for sharing so much. Thank you for having me, man. Like if, you know, I just, I want, I want everybody to have the opportunity because listen, I, I, I call, I call my team the two percenters, but we're really a part of the one percenters, the part of the world that uses their money to make money. That's how the rich get richer. They put their money to work. So this opportunity, take your money out of the bank, decentralize it, get yourself some crypto and put it in invisible AI and just watch <laughs> it grow. Just watch it grow. I'm telling you the most exciting thing for me, better than Folgers in your cup is waking up to a thousand dollars in your account. I love that. That's, that's a good one right there. Yeah. The best part of waking up is not Folgers in your cup. It's a thousand bucks. So let's get it. <laughs>